Hi guys, today we're gonna be doing an easy Nautica Mills. For the base color I use it two different polishes but you don't have to do this. Here you can see the blue by itself, it's a little bit sheer and I decided to lay this over a black nail polish and this is the result. The reason I did this was because I wanted that blue color which I don't have and you can see the difference and I also find out that this matches the cap of the bottle and on my middle and thumbnails I use the white nail polish I will also be using nail vinyl so make sure the base color is completely dried before you stick this to the nail You don't have to do this step by painting first black and then the blue. I did this because I needed the color. After you paint it with the color you wanted, you're just gonna remove the vinyl right away in this step. Do not let the polish dry. You let everything dry and apply top coat. Now I'm gonna take this nail tape and paint it with the gold texture. It. If you don't want to, you can skip this step and simply use the gold tape, but I wanted a textured finish. And I like to make things more complicated than they are, so yes. Now you can stick them to the nail and it's optional, you can add top coat if you don't want the texture to stand out, but I really wanted to. So I didn't add a top coat over this, but if you want them to last longer, you can add a top coat. Or I recommend you add a top coat. my ring finger nail I added top coat and placed the charm while it was still wet to stick it to the nail and if you want it to last longer you can use nail glue I also noticed that the charm is a little bit small for my nail so I decided to complement it by adding two stripes We're done. This is also a collaboration with Daniel Wellington and you can check the description box to see how you can receive a 15% off at danielwellington.com. I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you all so much for watching.